Hey guys, this is Early1981 and welcome back to the Golf Club 2. Today I'm going to uh, play rounds 2 and 3 of the Delta Airlines event, which is part of the TaylorMade World 2 Society. Uh, World 2? World Tour? Um, round 1, I think I shot at 62. Um, 11 under. Um, I was really, really pleased with the round, despite a few phantom... Phantom breaks, guys. I had three of them. Um, they were guaranteed birdies from about nine feet, eight feet, and it uh, just didn't happen for me. I was playing against 12, 12 mile per hour wind as well, guys. Um, so looking to to make a, a surge up the leaderboard here in round two. There's some, been some fantastic scores shot on this. This course is designed to be eaten up, and the guys have certainly been doing that. So that looks decent. Is it going to bounce on for us? It is. It's rolled on about two, three feet. So 16 feet. No, I, the, the greens are very forgiving on this course, guys. There's nothing real, real major breaks on the greens. Like I say, the course is just designed to be totally cut up. That should turn. It does. We start. Oh, wow. It went round the houses. I thought I spoke too soon there. So we do start off with a birdie. So, guys, I just want to say I'm delighted to announce that uh, my society is now live. Uh, the first event is available to, to play. It's going to be the Scottish Open. It's going to be on St. Andrews. Um. Oh, maybe pushed out a wee bit left, have we? So far, so good for this one. The name of my society is the Hacker's Paradise. It is handicapped. Um, I do feel that the event being handicapped uh, is going to give everyone a level, play, a, a, a level playing field. Um, the rounds, every event is going to be two rounds, guys. I do feel four rounds is too much. After about the second round and the third round, you're like... Jeez, oh, this is a bit repetitive. Um, so I am going to make it to two rounds because I do know everyone has pushed a bit for time. Um, a lot of people are in four or five societies. Let me play the shot. Hopefully we can reach this in two. Oh, I think we're just going to run out the back with a free wood. Um, I had no intentions, to be honest, guys, of starting a society, but I just want to say thanks very much for everyone who has asked me to, to do this. And I just want to say thanks to everyone on YouTube who's helping my channel grow. Um, you guys are going to be a big part of the society. I will be asking you guys for recommendations of courses. I will be letting guys choose choose the course for events, choose the, the name of the event, and uh, you guys are going to be a big part of it. Um, hopefully you guys are going to continue to interact on the channel and uh, help my society grow. So we're just patting off from the fringe. We've not hit that. Um, it's one thing I've started to do more often, guys, is patting from the fringe. Um, I find you're more accurate with a chip shot. In real life, I would pat that. So that one's just a, a part. We missed the birdie part. So as you can see, Tim Wilson's top of the leaderboard, 22 under. Um, I think that's fantastic. Great rounds from Tim, so we're going to have to play solid golf here to, to get anywhere near that. Great swing we've put in that. Once again, maybe just slightly left. Wind should take us round over, no issues at all, it does. So, yeah, really looking forward to see some of you guys on the Hacker's Paradise. Uh, a lot of the the majority of it will feature live on this, this channel here. If you're new to the channel, hit the subscribe button for more uh, Golf Club 2 content. I'm just going to draw this in, guys, due to the bunker. Hopefully the wind can, we can just cancel out the wind here. Just draw it around ever so slightly. It's a good swing we've put on it. This could be close. 
Go on, run on, run on. Now hold. Didn't come around as much as I hope, but we are pin high. It's probably going to be about a 10 foot putt for birdie. It is 10 foot bang on, and as you can see, there's nothing much to this. What? And about five feet from the cup. I do feel, guys, once again, that was a phantom break. As you look back, that was not the line that I, sh I, I had read. Hopefully that's not going to come back and haunt us. It was doing that in the first round. Um, unless I've just really badly misread that, I'll be interested to see back in the video. Obviously, guys... I may adjust the handicaps uh, capping on it. Um, it's going to be hard to get a happy medium, but I'm going to try my best to do that. So I am interested in getting feedback from you guys, suggesting what it should be, what it shouldn't be. Um, hopefully, I can edit it. But, uh, I'm just trying to make it a playing level, uh, a level playing field for everyone. We need this to bite. Need this to bite. Oh, it's a decent shot. Decent shot. So we are swinging well, guys. Uh, I do feel I can beat the, the previous round, which was 11 under. I'm sure that was a 62. Nothing much to this. Hopefully we can drain this and get the birdie. It's looking good. It's looking good. Oh, that's a great putt, but as you can see, guys, the, the greens are not too challenging. They're they're very readable, and that puts us to 15 under, four under for the event, three under for the event. Sorry, and we're 14 under. Oh, the leaderboard seems to be updating quicker now. Previous events I've played, the leaderboard was not um, updating. It was a shot behind, but here we're seeing it is 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 bang on. It's going to be straight down the middle. Just shy of the 300 yards. So once again, when I'm not going to, in the whole one, uh, round one, I could never hit this. Uh, I'm just going to try and lay this up. I did have huge headwinds against me. Just hoping to, wait a minute, that's going to, uh, don't tell me I'm hitting the green. I am. Uh, that's a schoolboy error, guys. That's a total miscalculation from me. I was hoping just to leave myself a pitch shot. Um, I was nowhere near that in the first round due to the win, so I'll have to remember that for the, the third round. So uh, it's a huge part. If I can get this within 10 feet, I'll be delighted. Um, hopefully we can get the birdie here. I do feel that's a line. Confident that's a line. Hopefully we've hit it enough. Uh, seems to be slowing up already. Great pat though. Ah, oh, we did have the line. We're only three feet from the cup. Delighted with that. It's going to give us a birdie. Yeah, so we get the birdie. Let's move on. So we are making good headway here, guys. Hopefully we can get near Tim's score. That is a fantastic grind from Tim. I see this is a short par four. Oh, maybe push that left. I do feel that is going to run out, guys. With the tour clubs, even though it is still within the red cone, yeah, that's going to run out. Uh, you really get crucified for anything. Shouldn't be too much of an issue. We'll just take a bit of loft off the, the pitching wedge here. Hopefully with it coming out the rough, uh, we're not going to get the instant bite. Hopefully it kicks on a yard or two. Get the wind to take us round. And hopefully it's enough club. It's a good swing. Is the wind going to take us round? It is. This could be nice. Oh, the wind's not taking me round as much as I hoped. 
And we were the bang on yardage here, actually, guys. That wind just did not take me round. It's breaking both ways here. I'm just... I'm just playing this just off center. Hopefully it's going to turn back. Turn, 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 turn. Oh, it didn't turn. Just did not turn back round. So that is going to be a par. But that wind just did not take us back round at all. So we're four under for the for the round, fifteen under for the event. We are going nice. This is a more favourable pin placement. Quite like this. It's gonna allow me to play the five iron. Hopefully we can just get it running up towards the pin. I'm just taking a a bit of power off it, adding an extra bit of height, get it landing softer. We've put a good swing in it, right down the middle, and hopefully this is close. This could be really nice. Hold now. Fantastic, really happy with that. If I do recall, this is a really flat green. I don't think there was a break at all in it the last time. No, and it looks like it's the same this time. And we drain that for another birdie. And we're moving along nicely, guys. 5 under for the day, 16 under for the event. This is a long par, but it's quite a tough par for this, guys. I do feel this is a hole where I've got an advantage if you're not using the tour clubs. Guys with player clubs and standard clubs, it's going to be a long, long shot into the green. Still be quite a long shot for me. Still be about a foot five iron. Yeah. One slightly going to the left. Be great to get a birdie here that would give us a huge advantage. This is where you need to take advantage with the tour clubs, with the distance. Why, that wind's really changing again. Here's me praising the wind. Saying it was mild, it's really fluctuating for me out here. Just taking a bit off of this, guys. Just due to the elevation. That looks like a, uh, five this could be good. This could be very good. Check up now, check up now. Certainly got an opportunity of a birdie here. It's probably going to be about 15, 18 feet. 18 feet bang on precisely. Nothing much in this at all. I'm just hitting this guys because I don't feel there's any break in it whatsoever. It's looking good. It is good. So, we get another bird and the birdie train continues. So we are now 17 under par. Leaderboard didn't update that time. On a hole 9. Currently 5 shots off the leader which is Tim. Great, great swing, pardon me. Like John says, we've absolutely nailed that down the centre of the fairway. And we just get over the 300 yard mark. From 130 yards. So we've left ourselves a pitching wedge into the green on the ninth. Oh, I put a slow, that's going right. That's going to go about 20, 20 feet right. Yeah, way right. Maybe more than 20 feet actually. 25, 19 feet, haha, <laughs> well, we're close. Once again though guys, this is certainly makeable. Certainly makeable. It's looking good again, despite being 19 feet away, we're not really punished due to the flatness of the greens, not much breaking them at all. 
like we say, this course is designed to shoot low. Let's just hold the edge of this trees here. Wind should take us back round. I think I'm going to run out of fairway again, just with that tiny bit left I am, you know. Ah, not happy with that one. That was just a minuscule left I pushed that. But once again, guys, with the tour clubs, you are going to get um, punished for that. So this ball's really breaking off to the right. 151 yards. Went slightly against us, I would say. Just going to take a tiny bit off. I think that's long. Oh, it's short. Didn't even run on. It must be on a slope. We are on a slope. I should have checked the green there first, guys. So why? That's going to be a challenging birdie putt. I'm amazed that is so short, though. Just really looking to get as close to get a par save. I've not hit that. I know I've not hit it. Nah. I've only put that 20 feet, so that's going to be, what, 17 feet? Yeah, 17 feet. This is makeable, this one, though, guys. We should. Yeah, we should drain this. Just put it in with a firm weight. Pretty confident of this. Hopefully we can get a par save. Looking good. Yeah. So once again, it's only a par. But I would say after that, the, the first part, I'm really happy with the par there. Let's move on to hole 11. Now, the, la the first hole, I had to play a three wood here because the wind... Um, so hopefully this time the driver's going to hold the fairway. I put a slow on that. I'm pretty sure this is going to land in the fairway here. I do feel that left that we did kind of again push a wee bit left. It's kind of counteracted the the slow, but just thankfully it was a generous fairway. And about 160 yards to the pin. Take a bit of loft off of this. This is a testing shot, because if I put another slow in this, I'm in the drink. Hopefully the wind's going to take me round. Eight iron. Put a great shot on that. If the wind does its job, this should be close. This should be close. Really happy with that, and that should be a, a seven foot putt for birdie. Eight feet. Nothing really to this. If we get enough weight in it, we're really going to take the break out of this one. Yeah. So we are going along really, really nice here, guys. We are starting to cut into Tim's lead. We're 19 under. We're only three shots off of Tim now, and we're only on hole 12. So hopefully we can get near Tim's score, which is a fantastic score, by the way. Great drive, right down the centre of the fairway. I had to draw the the approach shot in the last time and use the the light rough in the fringe. See that light rough in the fringe just there after the water? That held up the ball. I'm just going to try and do the same this time. It is a brave shot to play. Yeah, so let's fade it in. Sorry, I'm saying draw. Let's fade it in. Try and use the the light rough to hold the ball up. Take the sting out of it. Hopefully this doesn't go wrong and I end up in the water. But I did play it really well in the previous round. It's looking good. Well, yeah. Good. Oh, has it got enough? It has. That is a great shot. Ah, it's ran on a bit more than what I hoped. I can't recall if this green's flat or not. Nine feet, it is flat. 
So delighted with that outcome. Played a great golf shot there. We've been rewarded. This should be another birdie. Yeah, it's an eagle. What am I saying? It's an eagle. Jeez, oh, I was doing myself an injustice there. So that is us now one shot behind Tim. Five holes to play. So we're really cutting at Tim's lead here. Oh, I've put a slow, that's going right. No, shut up, Lee. It's a perfect slow, it goes right. Apologies, guys. Slow, perfect, just takes yards, a few yards off the ball, as you can see. We didn't break the 300 yard there, Mark. But even though, thankfully, it's a short par four, it's going to leave us a pitch and wedge in. Hopefully this is right at it. This one's looking a bit long, folks. It is. Bite. Really happy with that outcome. Right, this should be a an easy birdie, really. Eight feet tapping. We get it. And we're really going along nicely here, guys. I do feel we could get out in the lead on our own. That is us now level par with Tim. Confident again at least two or three shots in the lead now. As long as we avoid bogeys. Oh, I didn't like how that came back. Straight down the middle. And that is really going to travel on. 303 yards. And nothing wrong with that shot. And about so it's just a 7 iron. Very favourable uh, pin placement here. I'm sure in the last round it was right behind that bunker on the left. Just taking a tiny bit of loft off of here. Add a bit of distance. I've pushed that left slightly. Why, how's that going as far left as that? Still a great shot with pin high. Definitely gave us a, myself a chance of a birdie. Yeah, setting up 13 feet from the cup here. 13 feet. This might well be one of the more challenging putts that we've had so far. Needs to turn. It did. We just, that just snook, snuck in there, guys. I actually thought I'd missed that. So as you can see, we are now one shot. One shot right there in the lead. This should be birdieable as well, guys. Par four. Guys with the player club should be able to reach us in one as well. I'm jacking down to the one iron. I'm going to have to fade this round again. I'm not risking going over the water. If I do remember, the green slopes to the right. Just going to take a bit of loft off of this and see if the ball can run round to the right again towards the cup. I think if you hit it hard enough, it really does feed into the, into the cup. That's a good shot. Hopefully it's going to start to feed in. Turn. It is starting to turn ever so slightly. Ah, just didn't have enough legs. But we've gave ourselves an eagle putt again. This will really give us a, a huge advantage if we can drop this eagle. Nah, it's not going to turn as much. Ah, it's a misread putt. Still, we're going to get the birdie. Eight footer. Drill at home, and we are really, really flying here, guys. 24 under, two shots for lead now. Hopefully, we can get another birdie. Another birdie would really give us a huge advantage. 
really swinging well. It's going to allow me to get a drink. Straight down the centre of the fairway and we're going to have quite a short approach shot now. Yeah, we've really took the distance out of that. We're still being allowed to hit mid irons into the greens. Whereas guys with player clubs, they're probably hitting four irons into this, maybe hybrids. Maybe even a five wood. I can't remember the yardage with the player clubs now. That's a great swing we've put on it. This could be really nice. If this runs on, this could be really nice. That's him. Oh, we get an eagle. What a shot. That is now four shot of an advantage. We've really kicked on here. And this is a tough par three, this, guys, because I do not want to be short here. I am going to have to hit my hybrid, but I'm just going to give myself a bit of precaution here and take a bit off it. Make sure it's getting there. So we've took a bit of loft off it. Means it won't stick in the green so much, but with that wind against me, I don't want to take the chance of hitting the, the drink. It's a great swing. We've certainly made it over the water. It's going to be long, though. We're way long. We're way long. I can't recall how flat this green is, but we'll have a putt for birdie anyway. That's quite a wee tester. 25 feet, one foot down. Just want to get this ball rolling. Hopefully it breaks back round. It's looking good so far. It's looking good, it's turning. Ah, it's just not going to have the legs. Just stop two feet short. Going to give us our par. We'll take the par. Hole 18's a par 5. Hopefully we can get another birdie and that's going to give us a a 5 shot lead if we can get it. There's no real advantage in this hole here with the tour clubs. It's a great drive. Really been great off the tee today because um, like I said there's no advantage here because you you must lay up. You must lay up. Going to just try and use the whole of the fairway here, guys. Leave myself as short as approach shot as possible. No, that's going to be too long. I'm going to have to hit the hybrid. That should be perfectly fine. I'm just really going to loft it up so it doesn't really run on in the fairway. This should basically just land nice and gently with not much run. Yeah, that should come down nicely. We've got plenty fair way to play with. Oh, why? Where's that huge bounce coming from? Oh, no. I've run off the fairway. I can't understand that at all. And I tell you what, this is horrible. This ball's going to go left, but I'm just not sure how far left it's going to go. And I no way I can pitch it. I'm going to have to play the lob wedge. For safety's measure, I'm just taking a bit of loft off it because I need to get this over the water. I'd, I've no idea how far left this is going to go. Oh, I've pushed out left. It's going to go left for days. We're in the tent. We are in the tent. So let's see. I can't see my golfer. You are kidding me. Wow, I can't see my golfer, guys. This is going to be tough. This is just... There's no way I'm flopping this. I'm going to have to pitch it. Nah, I can't see my golfer, guys, so I've got no idea what kind of lie I've got. I assume it would be flat. I am going to pitch this. I'm just going to take a bit of... Add a bit of loft. Let's get the pitch. No way I can play the flop. Let's loft this pitch shot right up. And this, this is just going to be on muscle memory, this swing. Perfect, perfect. Be now. Get in. Get in. Oh. It just checked up. And in to end this round with a 
so unfortunately it's just a par so let's move on to round three and hopefully it's a final yeah right this will be the final final round of the event Not sure what the leaderboard is here, guys. We will check after the first hole. We will see what guys have shot. Started off with a good drive. So delighted with that second round. And the win looks like it's going to be in our favour again this round. So guys, going back to, to my society, the Hackers Paradise. Like I say, I'm more than happy to listen to you subscribers. Tell me what you want. I'll certainly accommodate everyone um we will come up with ways and ideas of who gets to choose the course and name the event i want my society to be as interactive as possible and um, i'm wanting you guys to be able to play the events with enjoyment decide what events we're going to do and that is a great shot by the way and that should be a tap in birdie Slightly breaking to the left. So let's check out the leaderboard. Wow. Wugs is 39 under. So I, don't, I have no idea where Wugs has came from. He must be playing at the same time as me and it's just updated. So 39 under. Unbelievable. Take a bye, Wugs. It's a great drive. Tim's 33 under. I do feel we might be able to catch Tim's score, but Wugs' score is gonna that is gonna take a hell of a beating. Hats off to Wugs. If you're watching Wugs. You certainly set a a gauntlet down there, buddy. So we shouldn't have to draw or fade this round this time, guys. Just use the wind. Let's loft it up. Hopefully we can get it landing softly. Oh, I've pushed that left slightly. It's going to be on the green, but it's going to be a long putt for the... Is, is this a slope it might run off of? No, it's not. So it's going to be a long, a long eagle attempt. Tim's at 30 for the under. So we are six shots off of Tim, and we're... What did we say Wugs was 39? We were 12 shots off of Wugs. We've not, I've not hit that. I've not hit that. I've left that really short. This one's about 11 feet from the cup. Only saving grace is though, this is a really makeable pack. Be devastated if I miss this. 11 feet breaking slightly to the left. Yeah, it looks good. It is. So we, despite a poor eagle pack, we get the birdie. And we move on to 28 under, is it? Yeah, 2 under for the day, 20 under for the event. So we're 11 shots behind Wugs. Great drive. And this shot's looking promising. Great drive. So we are, I'm swinging really well guys, really happy with how I'm playing with these tour clubs. And 180 yards out. 180, let's see, 6 iron. Let's add a bit of loft onto this so it doesn't run on too far. Wind should take us round. It's a great swing we put on that. Is the wind taking us round? Wow! And I, I, I don't know how that's going to look like on the on the video, guys. But that my camera, it just like jumped. So wow! I'm not sure what happened there, but once again, it's a great shot. By the way, it turned out eight feet. Should make this. I've missed. How has that went so far? Right, I'm not sure if I've really misread that. Oh, I don't know if that was a read. 
that I had. So I've obviously misread that one, but the game feels to be going a bit glitchy for me, guys. No idea what happened to the the flight of the ball there. Just kind of jumped. As if it's skipped a bit. So anyway, let's move on to hole four, par three. Really need to jack this up a little bit. Mm. Let's go with that. Uh, I need that to bite. Nah, I'm going to be long. Uh, it's actually not a bad shot. If I had just stuck with the jack and up a little bit, adding a bit of loft. So once again, like I said, I'm putting from the fringe. This is certainly makeable. There's nothing major to this, guys. I'm confident the drain in this, if we can judge the weight coming out the fringe, it's looking good. It is good. It is good. Delighted with that outcome. So we're certainly making headways on Tim and Wugs. So I must remember here, guys, not to hit the green in two. That was a great drive. Clean strike right down the middle. Over the 300 yards. Hopefully we're on a flat surface. Why are the pins playing shorter today? So... Very confident we can make this in two. Why wow, this hole? This hole is playing a lot shorter today, so we can easily make this. Really loft in this three wood up. I've pushed up, but what's what is going on with the camera? And that uh, that's a slow of putting that guys or pushed it right. I'm not sure there, but that just felt so glitchy. It was unbelievable. So the game is playing glitchy for me at the moment. Hopefully I'm not going to get too much punished here. Hopefully we can get close to this for the birdie. Uh, I put a fast on that. So this is a, a, just a very straight putt here you're seeing, guys. The game is really going glitchy on me at the moment. No idea what's going on. And I've missed. I've missed that. Ah, oh, so not the best holes here. We are going to get a par, but that drop shot may come back to haunt us. Well, not a drop shot, but the, the miss birdie. The game just seems to have gone hell of a glitchy for some reason. Short par four. If we put a good clean drive in this, going to leave myself about an eight iron into the green. And I'm really just concentrating on this one. That's better. Okay, this one's looking pretty good. No camera lag or glitch there at all. So I've no idea what happened that the previous two holes with the, the glitchy camera. Hopefully we don't see any more of that. That's a huge drive. Yards to the pin and I totally miscalculated. I didn't think we'd drive as far as that. So it's going to be a gap wedge. I'm so far in between clubs here, I'm really going to have to loft this up. This is all on feel and judgement, hopefully we're, we're close. The wind is going to affect this ever so slightly. Great swing, we're straight, we should be right at the pin. Oh, we're bang on. We are bang on. And if we were playing match play, that would certainly be a gimme. And it is another birdie, and we get the birdie train going again, hopefully it can continue. So we're four under for the round, 29 under for the event. Slowly catching Tim. Hopefully we can start eating into Wugs. Wugs score. So Tim and Wugs have shot fantastic rounds here, guys. Take my hats off to them. 
I've put a fast on that. It's going to go left for days. And look how far left that is. I'm not even hitting the green here. So the only saving grace is we're not on the green. It's probably going to be a flop shot. I'm not... Not been playing the flop shots great lately. 29 yards. 25. Just take a tiny bit of loft off of this. Oh, delighted with that. Regardless of the fast, we've put that about a foot, two foot from the pin, one foot. So we get the part, despite a poor tee shot. So this is a long par four, this one, guys. Like I said in the previous hole, if we're making birdies in this, I, I do feel it's a huge advantage. We're 30 under. Great swing we've put on that. I've knocked that in orbit. Just going to be short. If, oh no, we did. We broke the 300 yard mark. So that's going to help. Winds in our face slightly. 5 iron. Yeah, definitely 5 iron. Despite the wind being in, I'm just going to add a tiny bit of loft here, guys. Hopefully we can get this ball landing soft. Just get it running up to the up to the pin. Wind should take us round. This could be really nice. This could be nice if it holds. Bite. Very happy with that. It's going to be about a 15 foot putt for birdie. I was bang on. Nothing to this either. Saying it's straight. Nothing to do at all except swing back and forward. Looks good. And we get another birdie. And we are now starting to close in on on Tim. Tim 33 under, we're 31. On hole 9. Didn't like how that came back. Oh, why? What was that noise? I'm not sure if that's going to be evident in the audio. That made a horrible noise, guys. The game just seems a bit glitchy for me at the moment. Hopefully, it's not going to be costly or too costly. We can't afford any drop shots if we're going to get anywhere near Wugs. Let's take a bit of loft off of this gap wedge, give it an extra bit of distance. The wind should take us round. This should be nice. This should be nice. Bite. Great shot. It's going to be about a seven foot putt. Nine feet put. put. Nine foot putt for par. A uh, birdie even. Breaking slightly to the right. Oh, and we drain it. And we are going along nicely, guys. Six under for the round. Now one shot behind Tim. 32 under for the event. Let's just cut a bit of this fairway off. Come in here, try and hug these trees as much as we can. It's better this time. We dribbled out the edge of the fairway the last time, but I've certainly not pushed this left this time. Looks like the pin's quite tough here. Just taking a tiny bit off of this. The wind's in our face. Ball's maybe going to go slightly to the right. 
Good swing. Pitching wedge just stopped dead, so that's quite short. That's about 15 feet short. 16 feet. Once again, though, guys, certainly a makeable birdie. I would have liked to have been closer there. Just a miscalculation of distance there from me. That needs to turn. It has. So we continue with the birdie train. Seven under par for the round, 33 under for the event, so we're now level with Tim. Six shots behind Wugs. So this is why I want to make my uh, society handicap, guys, because I do feel it's a leveller. The amount of guys who are saying that they're struggling with the game are put off by playing society games because they've got no chance. Um, I'm trying to make it a, a level playing field for everyone. An enjoyable playing field for everyone. Um, like I say, I might have to tweak the handicap restrictions. Uh, but the only way I'm going to do that is with feedback from you guys. I can't recall what I set the handicap restrictions at. Um, I may have to alter it. Ever so slightly. So, when slightly in our face, eight irons a club, without a shadow of a doubt. Just took a bit of loft off it, add extra bit of distance. This is nice. This is nice, and we're zeroed into these pins. That's maybe travelled just a bit further than what I'd hoped. It's going to be about a ten foot putt. Yeah, ten foot putt for birdie. This is just. This is breaking both ways, left then right, hopefully we just hit this, centre, oh, it didn't drop, it didn't drop, so that's, that's a part. So 7 under for the round, 33 under, level with Tim, joint second, Wugs has got a sh 6 shot advantage over us. I do feel that's going to be really hard to catch up with now. Wugs must have had sensational rounds. And, fantastic distance on this drive. and as John says, a fantastic drive. It's going to be way over 300 yards. 311 yards to be 12 yards to be exact. So once again, we should be on in two. This time we don't have to come over the water, which is a huge advantage. So I do feel I can attack this pin. With the greens being quite flat, I'm just going right at the pin. See if we can get this running up towards the cup. This should be nice. This should be nice. Ah... Just travelled on a bit more than what I anticipated or hoped for. So we've still got a, a, a very makeable eagle pot here. Turn. And I tell you what guys, I do feel we now have a chance now. We are now 35 under. We are only four shots off of Wags now. This is certainly possible. Hopefully we can get within touching distance or at least level with Wags. And that is a great drive. Yeah, straight down the middle. Hopefully we can get this approach shot close. From 115 yards out. So wow, it's just going to be our gap wedge. Just lofting up a bit due to the wind. 
we should really be getting this close. This should be bang on the money. This should be bang on the money. What? Ah, I'm, that is really short. I, I just... I just feel sometimes that the wind does nothing. I mean, I'm trying to be as precise as I can and take the wind into account. Still got a birdie putt. Oh, and I've missed. I have missed. So, it's a solid part. I do feel I needed a birdie there to put the pressure on Wags. He's still got a four shot lead over me. We must birdie this one, I feel. Must get a birdie here. Running out holes rapid. Great drive. Looks like it's a tough pin placement over them bunkers. Great drive though, 314 yards is going to take her a lot of distance off. Yeah, so we've got an 8 iron. It's a very tough pin placement. It's loft this 8 iron up. Wind is in our favour. Hopefully we can get this zeroed in at the pin. Stay up, stay up. Bite, bite. Oh, I thought I was hitting the pin there. Very happy with that, actually, because I do feel if I lofted up any more, I would have been short. Mm. I think I'm just hitting this just straight. Yeah, the brakes counteracted each other. So we are 35 under for the round, guys. For the round. 36 under for the event. 10 under for the round. We're three shots off Wags. This one is criminal if we're not getting a birdie here. If we can get an eagle here, I do feel I've got a huge shot uh, overtaking Wags. Hopefully we can just use the, the fringe again to slow this ball up. It's a far easier pin placement today. I'm not having to go draw over or fade over, should I say, the war. Hopefully I can leave this and give myself a real eagle chance. It's a good swing. I think it's going to be long. I think it's going to be long. It's an awful bounce. Didn't get the best of bounces there. But I tell you what, guys. 18, th this is makeable. There's not much in this at all. That's in. That's in. My God, would you believe it? It's only going to be a birdie. Ah, uh, so that's going to be 37 under. 11 under for the round, 37 under for the event. Ah, uh, that would have put us one shot behind Wugs if that dropped. This is a tough par four, this one. We're going to do well a birdie this, depending on the pin. Placement. Great swing. We, uh, we do have a par five coming up. It's, it's so hard to eagle. You would have to. Your approach shot would basically have to go in. So it's not a bad pin placement. This so hopefully we can get this close. Six irons a club. We 
We've adjusted for the wind. Lofting this up. Get it to land softer. See if we can get it to bite. And here's the six iron. Oh, it needs to bite. It needs to bite. It needs to bite. Uh, I'll tell you what, it's not bad. If we can birdie this, I'll be delighted. Oh, it is breaking hard, right? Turn, turn, turn. Oh, just overcompensated for the break ever so slightly. And that's going to be a tricky par putt. Five footer. Need to drain this. We do. So we stay at 37 under. I d I really need to to take a gamble here, guys, and take the risk here. Hopefully, I'm not too long in this one. It is quite it's an even tougher pin placement. That water is really in really in play here. I need a good swing. Let's loft it. I'm really lofting up. I'm going for it. I need to. I need to take the gamble. I need a birdie here. Has it got enough? Oh, I need that to bite. Oh, we've got a chance. I, I, I thought I'd call this a flat green. Mm. More tests than I recall, but this is makeable. Turn. Looks good. Looks good. So we get to 38 under here, guys. If we can get a birdie here, that's going to put us level with Wugs. So we're one shot behind Wugs. Great swing. So I'm, I, I must. I can't hit the hybrid here. Um, gonna have to change my my club selection here. Probably gonna have to be the the six iron. Yeah, happy with that. Hybrid shot me too long the last time. I can't afford to take a bit of loft off of this to get it running. Hopefully, leave myself a short approach shot. Put a slow, that's gonna go right. And look how far right it is a bunker. <laughs> I cannot believe that. I don't even know if I can make this over the water. I'm gonna have to go for it though, gents. Yeah, it's gonna have to be the pitching wedge. I'm gonna loft up. And I need to get this close. have any chance of getting a birdie. I've pushed it slightly right and a fast but it should counteract. Oh and we have certainly got the chance of a birdie here guys. This is to go level with Wugs. Can we draw level with Wugs at the top of the leaderboard? Turn, turn. We do, so we go to 39 under, guys. That is it for today. I'll update you on the final score of the tournament. Thanks very much for stopping and uh, watching this. I'll see you on the next one. Take care. Bye.